Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at GeForce Now on the Steam Deck. Uh, as you may know, uh, NVIDIA came up with the, a, a release, like an official release. Uh, so we're going to be taking a look at that. I'm going to teach you how to download it and then we're going to test some games to his, uh, basically see how it goes, right? So, uh, first thing we want to do is go to desktop mode. So, just going to click on switch desktop. All right, so we are now in desktop mode. So what we're gonna do is to go on Google Chrome, Firefox, pretty much whatever browser you have. And then we're just gonna search for GeForce now. We're gonna go to the official website and we are going to download it. Just click here. and scroll all the way to the bottom until you see gaming handheld devices, right? So here you have it for the Steam Deck, uh, ROG Ally, Legion Go, MSI Claw. Uh, what we want is the Steam Deck. So we're just gonna click on get started. Are you sure you're in the correct device? Uh, yes, just click on download. And now it's download something. So we're gonna open that. And we can see that we have uh, some files, right? So we're going to extract these files. And now we're going to open the folder. And we're going to click on GeForce Now. We're going to execute the file. And basically, it's going to install Google Chrome if you don't already have it. Uh, then it's going to install adjust Google Chrome's Flatpak to allow for gamepad use, and it will add a GeForce Now shortcut to Steam. So this is the browser version, so it's not like an actual app. An actual app might come in the future, it might not, but uh, for, for now, this is what we have. So now it's going to start uh, running the script. Uh, so yeah, let's see what happens. All right, we are now on GeForce Now. You can see that this is the dialogue option. So what we have to do now is return to gaming mode, navigate to non-Steam games, and then launch GeForce Now. All right, so if we click on library, we should see it now under non-Steam games. Here you, you have it. All right, so let's uh, return to game mode and see how it goes. So now we're going to go to library and go over to non-steam and you should see GeForce Now. So let's just click on play and it should launch. Uh, we're going to log in. Uh, we're going to use our code. I have it set up on my phone, so it's uh, super easy for me. You just scan the code and log in basically. All right, we are now inside GeForce Now. As you can see, I am uh, doing everything with the controller. So we don't really need to uh, plug in an external keyboard or anything like that. The uh, script that we installed er earlier takes care of this. So let's just open up a game, see how the um, latency is. Actually, I'm going to open Starfield. All right, we are now on Starfield. Uh, game is all set up. Um, so let's uh, continue again. Uh, I have, I do have a Wi-Fi six router, so this will be a best case scenario, and I am pretty close to the Stockholm server, so I should have like. 10 ms of ping but your performance might vary a lot and i wouldn't recommend using this at above you know 20 ms so you can see that the input lag is not really bad at all like if i move the stick yes there's a little bit of delay 
but honestly this just looks amazing let's check how much the input lag like is so uh, as you can see we're getting 30 to 40 ms uh, if I was using a wired connection this would be lower uh, but yeah uh, obviously if you wire this thing up kind of loses most of its purpose but this game looks actually amazing on a on, on this screen like you can't see any like artifacts at all like I'm actually super surprised this is super playable wow this is like really great and yeah they put like even though if it's 36 ms because the OLED screen has so little input lag then that makes a significant difference but yeah, I would I would at least want uh, you know forty ms in order to play uh, these kind of games, and less than twenty to play any sort of competitive titles or even MMO titles like you know, Lost Ark, uh, Counter Strike, League of Legends, anything like that. It, it's gotta be a minimum of twenty. But for these single player games, this is really nice. We're actually dropping a few frames here and there, but you know it's fine. This looks amazing. Like this is this is insane. This looks awesome. Well, uh, I think this is this is pretty much it. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and see you again on the next one.